Welcome to It's Dangerous to Go Alone. Last week we covered the surprise that no one's seen coming where, you know, Microsoft bought Activision. Oh my god, we're not going to see that again for a while. And then Sony went, hey, do you remember your ex? Remember that, remember that company Microsoft you had for ages that did, you know, basically created your, uh, the Xbox's mascot? Yeah, we're buying it. Yeah, Sony bought Bungie. Who knew it's $3.6 million, billion, 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 billion. $3.6 billion yes. dollars uh, USD. Like, it, it, it is a fraction of the Activision deal, but still. Oh, yeah. Billion. Billion is a... People... I don't think people understand how big billion is. Like, if you took all the money you make in your life as a normal person, you might maybe, maybe have more than a million pound. Or, do, or, yeah, or dollars or whatever. You might have maybe just more than a million. And that's your lifetime of working. And, and that was if... You know, yeah, you never had to spend any money, never to give taxes. This is all the money you have. That's your lifetime. This is billion. <laughs> oh. David, you have to you have to say the thing. Which one? It's a lot of money. It is a lot of money. Like oh my god, it's like ah. Oh. <laughs> so yeah, this came out of nowhere. No one like. Yeah, I'm still shocked by this because like, huh? <laughs> what? It's like I actually I actually messaged you earlier going hey by the way this happened. I just went what. What do, you, yeah. what do you mean? Oh. So, with this, you know, they get Destiny. Or Destiny 2, really, because no one really plays Destiny. <laughs> um, which is, it's, you know, it's huge. It's giant. Yeah, Bungie's had a lot of, do- like, kind of, uh, stuff recently. Which I'm saying is a pattern. I think you brought up last time. That, hey, here's this really famous company. Oh, there's some dodgy stuff happening, which may, you know, reflect badly on... The higher ups and maybe causing either shares to fall or fans to go away, and then they're suddenly bought. I think we know what Microsoft's Microsoft and Sony's big plan is now. Wait for a wait for a scandal, then buy it. Yeah, it ends up um because that's <laughs> as terrible as it is. It probably ends up being cheaper in the long run because the shares drop so low that large companies can buy them up super cheap. Um, compared to as if they were at full value while still um, all they have to do is just a little bit of cleanup of some of the shit persons and there you go you have firing them or no 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 quietly retiring (laughs) them very rarely do they they, do they fire these shit heels no it's more of just a Mm, and they will be leaving the company usually paul usually with some dire i um i've done bad things in my life and um I apologize for them. It's one of those stupid videos that everyone's seeing. You know, it's oh, uh, usually one of them. Videos are a, the worst. They're leaving the company, probably still getting a nice big paycheck. And then, mm-hmm. yeah. So yeah, Sony now owns Bungie. That's just weird. After especially all the, you know, these. This is the company that made Halo. One of the most. Oh yeah. Xboxy Xbox games ever to exist. Yeah, when you think of Xbox, you think of Master Chief. I mean, that's that's just how it works. Yeah. I think I think this is a revenge thing. Because last time, I didn't talk about it last time because I forgot about it. Um, so, Microsoft bought Activision. Activision still ha- has the rights to Crash Bandicoot. So, Microsoft now owns Crash Bandicoot. And Crash Bandicoot used to be the PlayStation mascot. So, I kind of think this is revenge. Oh, that's right. Yeah. It's a lot of hate <laughs> thing going around. Yeah. I love the fact that I'm not editing this, so you're bleeping a lot today. It's brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> so, but one of the things uh, which always comes out from the company is it was the what was the Pete yeah Pete Parsons yeah you have the quote here. Bungie will continue to independently publish and creatively develop our our, our games, which isn't really answering the will it be PlayStation exclusive. It's more of the we will be independently publishing. So it was like. That was the same deal you had with Microsoft, and I don't see Master Chief on um, PlayStation. That'd just be weird, actually. I take that back. It'd be like that's cousins yeah, kissing. That Ugh. would be weird. Something just wrong with it. So the good news is, is that um, all of Bungie's games will remain multi-platform, uh, which is one of my first thoughts that I had uh, because Sony, Sony especially, makes it such a pain for developers to create cross-platform gaming, and that's why. You don't see a lot of games with PlayStation cross compatibility. Um, Bungie did post an FAQ um, 
about it, and they wrote uh, that they will continue to be self-published and creatively independent. So that's what they said before, but this is important to note because um, it's kind of the only thing I can really think of that's similar to this um, was when uh, Microsoft bought Mojang, um, and Mojang now has two different versions of Minecraft, and then also Minecraft Dungeons. And I, I, I guess if you want to count story mode, wait, nobody wait. counts story, story mode. Story. mode. No one really counts story mode because it was a telltale. <laughs> not even not even a proper telltale game, but it was like telltale, no. but for bobbies. It was it was bad. But anyways, um, so uh, the only difference would be that uh, the Mojang games that they do um, aren't published by themselves. They actually go through um, each respective platform's owner, so Xbox Game Studios, Sony Interactive uh, Entertainment. Um, the only ones that they actually do themselves are the, uh, I think it was the Nintendo uh, platforms. They they publish those on their own. And speaking of just Minecraft episode two of a certain uh, history series, might be coming out soon. Yeah. You know, check. I know episode one is de is currently out. I uh, go go and check out V's series on Minecraft. And also, we may we may we may be uh, playing some Minecraft in the future if everyone can get it Ooh. sorted. We had we we had a nice stream night the other uh, last night actually. Mel played yes. Left for Dead because Vermintide killed everyone else's computers. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But yeah, go check Wasn't that out. Wasn't just me. Uh, that'll be on YouTube soon. I'll try to have up by the end of the week. We maybe cut out the swearing. And Vermintide because it didn't really work. Uh, but if you want to pop on, to, I think I think I've just posted on Facebook uh, that clip you took. Uh, I think we just put it on our Facebook group. <laughs> oh yes, the, I uh, that was really good. That was genuine fear, and that's why it's important to have your audio levels low, so that way when you would normally peek out your microphone, everyone gets to hear you scream. <laughs> yeah, so it's also um, and this is this is this is a slightly more important thing. Make sure you record it. And a face cam, because yep. it's hilarious. Ah. Oh, genuine fear. It genuinely scared me, because it was, it, it, it it was, was exactly uh, where I walked from. It was great. From. It was proper. Like, oh, I was... I didn't even, I didn't even really think about it at the time, but watching it back, is like, oh my god. You, that was a really big... It was a loud scream. Uh, yeah, it was me, yeah. uh, the... Patrick, Patrick back to do a few things with us, yay. And uh, Raj, I'm playing Left 4 Dead. And it was fun. Maybe do more on Sunday. Maybe. So... Yeah. You could do um, Sunday Left for Dead. With this, I think we talked about this last week as well. What big, what, what game company do you think is going next? God, um, let's see. What I bet Gearbox is going to get snatched oh. up by someone. I I would go That's with Microsoft. I would go with Microsoft getting them mainly for Gears of War. I don't know who it would be. I don't I, know I'm going with them for mainly be. Gears of War. Also, but, they get Borderlands, yeah. and you know exactly the, yeah. the IP that everyone wants. Duke Nukem. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that made me feel dirty saying. Anyway, so <laughs> to tie in with the, you know, Bungie being the creators of Halo, we got a trailer this week for um, the, Par the, the Paramount uh, Plus Halo TV series. And do you know what? It looks annoyingly good. Like, everything else about it made it look like, oh, it's going to be a bit eh or a bit cheap. But the trailer was like... Damn it! That actually looks like it might be fun, and I'm not—I'm not a Halo fanboy. As you can see, I have many fandoms that I do fanboy about. Do you see any Halo stuff around me? No. I do not. But you know, I, I enjoy the multiplayer here and there, and Halo Reach is actually a good game by itself. Uh, but the Halo TV series, um, it looks good. Apparently, it's supposed to be in its own little like version of canon, like you know, every other adaptation, because no one's going to actually try to adapt something straight yeah it will, oh, yeah. It, will it stars pablo uh, schreiber as master chief petty officer john 117 natasha mcyolan i apologize entirely for the pronunciation is playing <laughs> dr Catherine elizabeth halsey and you know what's nice to see her she's one of those actresses who keeps popping up places like well that's where you got to um she was originally also supposed to play uh, cortana but the fans got a bit up in arms about it uh so cortana uh, Master Chief's uh, holographic girlfriend, boss, mum thing uh, is yeah. uh, being played by the uh, actress from the games by Jen Taylor. And by the way, this already has a little bit of controversy. But oh, a really okay. stupid bit of controversy. 
Oh. Dumb fanboy controversy. Yeah. Yeah. So in the, in the games, Cortana is a kind of naked hologram. You, you've seen it. Everyone's seen Cortana. You can oh, imagine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This she one bothers is me on my desktop. This, 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 has a, this is a clothed version. And everyone, like, some fanboys are like, we should wear clothes. It's like, <sighs> dude, she's like four inches tall. Actually, don't, like, I don't, I um... don't, I don't want to know what those kinks are. Come. <laughs> <laughs> well, David shuffles papers. Oh no. Oh no. Um, is it like, is it just like a Mass Effect kind of suit? Or I, I haven't, I haven't, I haven't watched the trailer. I should have watched it. It just looks like she's wearing clothes, but she's also still a hologram. A bit more lifelike than yeah. the games, because you know, the games, but... I um, can't they believe they see... are censoring holographic titties and they're <laughs> withholding they're... Uh, this from the public. Hey. Release the nipple. Um, release but... free the nipple. <laughs> I mean every, everything looked really everything looked correct. You know, he looks cool in in the suit, the other Spartans, all the guns look correct. They showed a um an elite, which is the big predator looking alien with the sword mm-hmm. and it's like, Oh that that's cool. I hope oh my god, oh my god, could it be the Arbiter? Ooh. Not a fanboy, but I know who that is. Though, who did turn up in the trailer was an actor I love, because he's one of those actors who's like, oh, it's that guy. He's never the main character, but he's always like, oh, it's that guy. Uh, Bokeem Woodbang. That is a fantastic last name. It is. Uh, one second. He, he's one of those actors who's literally in f***ing everything. Um, but, like, <laughs> he's like, oh my god, it's like him. He literally pops up there, here, there, everywhere. A couple of those movies are uh, Dead Presidents, uh, 3,000 Miles to Graceland, Graceland um, Devil, yeah, that one with the Satan inside a, an elevator. Thank you, M, M. Night. Uh, oh, that sucked. Yeah, and uh, my favourite <laughs> <Sorry>. one. <laughs> uh, he was the sheriff in the last Ghostbusters movie, but my favourite, my favourite thing was he played the Shocker in Spider-Man Homecoming. No, Shocker 2 in Spider-Man Homecoming, because there were two of the idiots. Oh my god. <laughs> But yeah, he's one of those actors who's like, oh yeah, it's him! Hopefully he actually gets to a role rather than just being a side character. Which is his kind of go-to thing. Yeah, I mean, well, yeah. some... Because one thing I know is that some um, uh, actors and actresses, they're much happier in, like, kind of those side things. Because when you're the main character, yeah. oh my god, that's a lot more work. I know, but it's like, oh, but you're good. But everything he's in, he's like... But I but like you. I want you to have your own thing. Yeah, you see, like I think my favorite thing I've seen him was Far. I think it was Fargo, season two. I think he's one of the gangsters in that. He's very good. Uh, and I really want you know we could talk about you know bringing people together. The way Discord is because Sony has another <laughs> win, another win this week. Uh, da, 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 da. Do you want to talk about Discord? Yeah. So the app we're uh, currently and... recording this on. <laughs> Don't, don't mess up Discord, I'll burn you on fire. Oh my god. So, uh, for Discord users, you can now connect your PSN account to your Discord account, which means that your PS4 and PS5 games, when you're playing them, show up as your status on Discord. That's right, all six of you out there with a PS5 can now connect <laughs> to Discord. And now you can flex that you're playing PS5 exclusive title here. Yeah, all... all... Four of them. All, all four. All, all uh, four. That I was gonna say two. <laughs> no. Everything what, what, from like, the what, PS4 what, has just been ported to the no, PS5. Like, what, I haven't uh, heard no, no, a like, thing that's just PS5. Oh, what's um Demon Souls remake? That was PS5. What's that? Okay. Yeah. All right. I can um, see that. I can't think of anything else. I'll talk about. All right. There you go. That's one. <laughs> that's really bad, isn't it? Um, yeah. Yeah. The new God of War might be on. It's supposed to be on PS4 and PS5, but it might be PS5. I've got a feeling it might just go to PS5. Though, it, talking it, about God of War, this is, a very, this is a quick segue, but it is the most haunting thing on the internet right now, because God of War is on PC, so therefore people are modding it. And the first oh, thing yeah. they do is Beardless Kratos. Yeah. I showed this to a friend, and he, look, he, he looked at me and went, that's you if you're angry and just beefed up. It's like, that's how Kratos shouldn't look like me. Kratos shouldn't look like me. <laughs> But it was terrible. I think this is also I, the first. David, this is also this is also, this is also the same person who said, "David, when you when, when you when you, you know, got buffed up a little bit, you look like a, was it a a fat Batista?" This friend's very mean to me. I don't know why I'm hanging out with him. Oh my god! Uh, yeah. What the hell? 
Possibly. David, if we ever go to a convention together, I'm getting you a bucket of white paint. Boy. And a little bit of red. Boy. I'll get, I'll get I'll the find, I'll one. find a bow. <laughs> that being said, though, oh, I would love, love just to have my, my, my wall, the Leviathan Axe. My brother-in-law is actually a blacksmith. And also, um, I'm just going to throw a image up here, uh, that he met Bill Murray last year. That was kind of cool. Um, David, yeah. we agreed that this was audio. Damn it. Well, shush. Yeah. Let me believe. Just, just imagine a like, guy who kind of vaguely looks like Obi-Wan Kenobi standing beside Bill Murray holding a golf club. Yeah, he's a blacksmith. That's so cool. I honestly, if I have a project on, I would love to try to make the Leviathan Axe. That'd be, that'd be really, quite a project. Really cool. Um, it's very intricately detailed from what I've seen. Yeah, that's the, that's the only thing. It's like, oh, this is going to take a while. Yeah. Um, I, if you put me in front of um, a blacksmith... Uh, smeltery, whatever you would like. What it, it's actually called? <laughs> Hold up, the joke's ruined because I don't remember what it's called. A forge, yes. <laughs> Anyways, if you put me in front of a forge, I would make a very nice lump. Nice. That's it. Hey, back to the list. We have, we have a, we have a list that we're slowly <laughs> working through because you know we're professionals. Yeah, we're not we're not making this as we go along. There's 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 a there's a there's a there's a, there's a, there's a Google document that we're both reading. Um, to finish up the uh, the Discord thing, um, yeah. so as some of you may note, uh, Xbox players have been able to show their uh, games that are playing on as a Discord status since 2018. So I'm going to honestly, this is a hundred percent Sony um, being difficult because, as I said before, they are such sticklers about doing cross-platform stuff. They've always been a pain about this. That being said, that being, okay, okay, that being said, right, in the last while, both Sony and Microsoft, for the PlayStation and Xbox anyway, have been very much of the, we want cross-play. We really do want cross-play. Hey, look, this is a Microsoft ad, but look what he's playing on. He's playing on a PlayStation controller because he's playing Xbox Game Pass on PC and he can use a PlayStation controller and it's like, okay, they're really they're trying to give the air of that they're they really want to work together, but in reality they're just waiting for the first person to blink and then they're gonna stab them in the face. Oh yeah, yeah. Whoever whoever they can scoop stocks up from first. Whoever blinks first. Stop. Oh. Whatever you do, don't blink. Ooh, ooh. No, not doing Doctor Who. <laughs> um. I was I was debating how quickly I could grab my um my tenth Doctor screwdriver. Actually, that is. This is a very quick segue, but it's by Doctor Who, and I want to talk about it quickly. Ooh. I'm kind of annoyed of how they're treating J- Jodie. Yeah, because I I feel like she was good, but they there, like didn't write so, well. So yeah, she's getting a couple. Basically, she's getting the tenant treatment of she's getting a few specials, and then she's out. But there's mm-hmm. a couple things. One, um, apparently, they might cut her regeneration, which mm-hmm. is like you know one Doctor going into the next one. And yeah. they literally brought back, it's like, okay, who was the last people to actually, you know, make money with Doctor Who? Oh yeah, Russell T. Davis, a troublesome writer if we've ever met one. And there's like a thousand rumors going around going, oh yeah, by the way, they're bringing back David Tennant. My first question is, but why? He's great. How? I love David Tennant's Doctor Who. He's yeah, fantastic. Yeah. But why? <laughs> you know? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that, 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 was my, that, was, that was my Doctor Who thing. I also re- right. recently rewatched uh, Good Omens and Jessica Jones. Two very different oh, versions right. of David, David Tennant. Oh god, I hate Kilbury. He's such a creepy, rapey bastard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good anyway. omens. Everyone's favorite queer baiting show. You know it's good season two, right? Is it? Yeah. I I don't know how, but I... somehow it's getting season It's filming right now. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hey, right. so back on topic. At least this time we didn't talk about the war. And so, um, oh my god. Yeah. Do you want to talk about uh, that game that you you have fe- you you care about and hey, you, you have feelings hey, about hey. I know exists. I like I like the I like, I like the franchise it's from. I'm not gonna play Gwent. <laughs> I like Gwent. Gwent is a good game. I'm not gonna say that it's a it's a card it's like it's a card game. You know people. Yeah. I'm not a big fan of like Magic the Gathering or oh, Yu Gi Oh or okay, other things yeah. like that or even their video game uh, you know parts. It's, but I know people who love that kind of thing just to dive into a game and, you know, mess around with cards and stuff. You do you. 
I'll just jump into the other one where the horse glitches to the roof. God bless Roach. Anyways, uh, so for... Oh. Hmm? Sorry, I made myself sad by remembering that there's like five Roaches. Yeah. Listen, Roach is just Geralt's horse. No Roach dies. They only go to the farm to live happily ever after. No oh, watch, yes. No uh -huh. watch they, go back, they go back to Karamora uh, for retirement, and that's where they stay. We conveniently never see them again. Anyway, so Gwent. Yeah. Tell me about Gwent. What the... Yes. So, uh, Witcher Gwent is getting a new single-player standalone game later this year, as reported by IGN. Uh, it was nicknamed... It is currently nicknamed Project Golden Necker. That sounds like a, that sounds like something you pay for and you feel dirty about afterwards. <laughs> and that probably you'll do it'll be released to the public and then Sony or Microsoft will buy your company. Oh, it's definitely something Dandelion has paid good gold for. And now I'm now and now I have burned but your burn stuck in my damn head again. Because every season that Necker has a tune to Bob. I still need to watch season two. You do literally just for just 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 for Jasky was it Yaskier or Dandelion or whatever you want to go with just for the new songs. Yeah. He's got three, and they're yeah. great. Oh, okay, so Gwent. Oh, uh, you stand Dandelion. Um, so uh, Project Golden Necker is going to be a completely standalone game. So that means that you don't have to own any of the other Gwent or Witcher games. The Gwent cons lead. Ooh, Ooh, that L has a slash through it. What? I don't know how to say that. Yeah, that L has a slash. One is, second. That Copy is and a... paste whatever you're looking at into the, ch into, into the chat. We'll, 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 we'll keep this in. Not, we're we're going to work on how to pronounce this. Paolo? 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 Burza? I mean, uh, the last part is definitely some sort of Burza. Is it a that, Swedish thing? I, it definitely looks Swedish or some sort of Scandinavian. I think it's... Poil. Poil. It's like, it's a weird way to, like, like, the L. So I assume, Poil. okay, so this this is a question, this is a legitimate question with Gwent, because I have to ask, mm -hmm. do CD Projekt Red make this, or is this another company making this? You know what? That is actually a good question. Give me two minutes. Hmm. So the reason I ask, I, I, this is me buying time while V Googles, and you know, mm -hmm. uh, CD Projekt Red, famous for making The Witcher games, also with Cyberpunk, which I love. I love the fact of everyone hated Cyberpunk for being dodgy as hell, but now it is one of the top-rated games because everyone's playing it now that it's, you know, been fixed. And all the review... And, and uh, Do you know you get review bombs? This is now going the other way, where everyone's just being really positive about it. Dear God, when the hell's a multiplayer thing coming out? I want it. I've been playing Cyberpunk since day one. I want more. Oh, yeah. I think, I think Cyberpunk is definitely a game that should be online um because i also i played cyberpunk on the ps4 oh okay. i have encountered all of the bugs i still like the game my only complaint is that i sometimes can't walk my character who is also named v which is really weird by the way oh i forgot because i've that. had that that's been my nickname for years so v just has his feet kind of molded into the ground i guess and i can't i can't walk i like i have to like link jump everywhere it's very annoying so that's it that's my only complaint everything I, else is i will, ne I will never defend the uh, xbox one or the playstation uh, four releases of cyberpunk because no they it should not have terrible. been released on those but the yes. next gen and the pc one i give this the, this this statement about the bugs that came with them Bethesda games have have never released in not good a quality. People can shut up. Mm -hmm. uh, oh the, yeah, Fallout Four, Fallout Seventy Six, uh, and mm, I don't know Skyrim. I still have Skyrim a mission in Skyrim that I can't turn in. What one? This game is so old. Oh, there's one. Don't where, worry, it's gonna be re-released uh, again in like three weeks, probably on like oh, yeah. on my elbow or something. But my Skyrim's <laughs> not available in like played on your Apple Watch. I mean, can, it's not like a less. It's not less. Alexa. Is it Alexa? Yeah, the Sky Skyrim Very Special Edition. <laughs> that was funny. And I commend Bethesda for taking the L on that because that was that was a Sigma mindset. Oh, Christ. 
What are we talking about? Oh yeah, pre- CD Projekt Red. So the, 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 this is a CD that uh, Gwent is a. It, it, they are making it. It's an in-house one. It's not like a, another company making it. Yeah. Yep. So um, yeah. So it is just kind of like a separate team that works on Gwent, but it is still part of CD. Oh, Project so it's a, Red. okay. Um, yeah, it's it's just a subdivision. Yeah, listen, I didn't even play Gwent in Witcher. Before, I've actually played much what? Witcher. I played a bit of Witcher three. Okay. I played a bit of Witcher three. I tried to. I, I played it. Also, I played a good lot of Witcher two, but that tutorial is like four hours long. I will eventually go back and try to play it again. Witcher three. Was I don't great know how. I don't. I don't know how you managed to. Because I. I. I saw the dragon. Yeah, like the tutorial ends with you getting on the boat and then leaving, and that's uh, chapter one. I mean, we could always talk about the next thing on the list, which was a <laughs> Marmite. Okay, this is the ultimate Marmite game of the of the era. Either you adore this game, or you thought it was a very good, very big meh. I love that you compared it to Marmite. That's hmm? incredible. Marmite was a very good analogy for Death Stranding. Yeah. No. I love Death Stranding. Why? Because Hideo Kojima kind of just clicks with me when it, when it comes to his weirdness. Don't some people like some people like Suda Fifty One because oh look, it's so wacky and it goes with their stuff. Yeah, good, good for you. Or ah, oh, Deadly Premonition. I still hate that game. I've tried to. <laughs> that game is terrible. I, I don't care if you. I don't care if it's quirky and you like it. Okay, it's a piece of shit. Really quick, which one was Deadly Premonition? The one which ri- which is rip- rips off Twin Peaks, and, it, and the thing people like about it is like, no, 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 oh, they stole my off God. Twin Peaks. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I <laughs> think that game is so bad. I someone, will never play it, but I love watching people play it. Someone got it for me for my not last birthday, birthday before. It's like a joke, and I play. <laughs> I play like maybe two hours of it, and it's like this. Ki- I get played on. Sh- Lads, I played it on stream because I thought it'd be funny. Me and Patrick were bored. Bored, yes, I say. it is such a bad game. Like, <sighs> anyway, if you watch people play it, they have to, like, clip it down because yeah. there's nothing there's interesting so much, happening. There's so much... Eh. Like, the only, the only people I've watched play it who have not completely lost their minds are fun hunts. <gasps> that's, like, four people in a room, and I'm pretty sure, like, yes. two of them are drunk. Oh, my God, yeah. One of them is... De- one of them, I'm, I'm at all times, Australian. is definitely not sober. Oh, I love not, it. Not, I love I, 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 by the way, I know V literally said not sober and I said Australian. That was not a correlation. Oh, bad David. No, I'm kidding. Not really. It's just, look, I'm pretty sure anyone anyone from Australia has the same attitude from anyone from Ireland going, ha <laughs> funny. Anyway, so Death Stranding. <laughs> Death Stranding is not... It's one of those games that I will never stream. Well, maybe for like charity or something, like a big day or something. But it's one of those games you can just sit back, play, and just... I don't want to be, like, you know, dickish and say experience, but kind of weave it. The music, Mm -hmm. just the environment, you know, Norman Reedus is Funky Fetus. Uh, Hey, Mads Mikkelsen. It's great. Literally anyone in that cast is, like, everyone is giving, like, so much, like, great performances for a game that maybe didn't have the writing to support those performances. But, oh, oh, I love that game so much. I even bought the the novels. Did you really? Yeah. Well, more okay. Okay. I bought one, and my friend went, "Oh, there you go. Merry Christmas." So I, I have both the, the, the English translations of the novels, and they're also weird as hell. So anyway, the yeah. reason we brought up Death Stranding wasn't just so I could you know zone out and flashback to so that way you Mads can, Mikkelsen's um, weird um, fangirl about it, fanboy about it. Yeah. So the director's <laughs> cut, which which originally was for you know the PS Five, and then got the PS Four release, and then. They, they have their own thing of, hey, you don't even need to buy buy the new game. You just need to buy, uh, like, a DLC pack and you get you get, you get get upgraded. That is coming to PC, which I'm happy about because that's... I bought that running on PC. It'll be $10 USD. Yeah, it's going to be a, 10, a $10... don't know what that is for pounds. Probably like eight pound upgrade uh, to the original game. I think it's March 30th, Steam and Epic Store. With it being thirty nine ninety nine for standalone director's cut. Though, that being said, Death Stranding is one of the big three of, hey, it's PlayStation exclusive and now it's on PC. This, yeah, Horizon that, Zero Dawn, and Back to God of War. Yeah. Oh, David. Yeah. We can and play also, a game of how many turns does it take for David to get back to God of War. Actually, we're going to do another tie-in because there's a voice actor who's in both 
Death Stranding is <laughs> bloody Hicks. Oh, I hated him in that gas Hicks. Hicks was such a dick. And he was in God of War as one of the bosses. But funny, funny enough that the other boss who he was voicing with was also yeah, in the North. Think... We're going to talk about Troy Baker for a minute. Troy Baker is one of those actors in, who's in everything. Oh yeah, we love we love Troy Baker. I okay, I do, but I feel in real life he'd annoy me. You know. Oh, I I don't I, I don't I don't pay attention to like the real life stuff. I'm just like you you do he's the voices. I like you. He's a weird okay. hipster. Don't be wrong. He's he's been in some of my favorite games. I'm I'm currently wearing a Bioshock T-shirt. You can't see because camera, but yeah, I'm a Bioshock fan. Yeah. So of course I love Bioshock Infinite and Burial at Sea and stuff. Oh, so yeah. you know he is Booker DeWitt. That was the first time I you know. <sighs> That's, how, that's yeah. how I first experienced Troy Baker. Other people had it be really depressing because he was in Last of Us. But chances are he is, you know, he has been experienced to you somewhere along the line, either through a Naughty Dog or even additional voices. He's in everything. Or or if you're a loser like me, uh, you first kind of learned who he was and how far his influence spreads from Tales from the Borderlands. <laughs> Oh yeah, isn't he the main character? <laughs> yep, he's uh, he's uh, Reese. Is he the one with Cats like Cats and Jack in his head? I've never played. Once again, yes. As we discovered last week, David doesn't really play Borderlands. Um, so anyway, oh, Troy I Baker, love Troy Baker, about a month or so ago, was like really like proud of himself. And like, I'm going to be involved with a company, uh, voice first to make NFTs, and immediately everyone went went why. NFTs Everyone are dumb. Went, no. Everyone's like, don't. What the, why? 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 NFTs, NFTs are, are literally bad. so damn stupid. <sighs> anyway, so today as recording, well, yesterday for me, because after midnight now, but today for you, <laughs> uh, Troy Baker took to Twitter with this um, with this statement. Thank you all for your consideration and patience. After careful consideration, I've decided not to continue the par- partnership. With voice first NFT. Hold on, Intentions David. aside, I've heard you David. and apologize for accusing anyone for hitting just by simply disagreeing with me. Can you read the first sentence again? Thank you all for your feedback and patience. Can you do it with less attitude? No. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to be nice so that way I would splice it together so that way it was correct, but no, that's uh... a take we're using. Uh, no, it's like... <sighs> it's fine. That's why I was trying to interrupt you. Like, no, David, just start over. It's fine. What you, okay, okay. Why would you... Oh, I'm sorry. Would you like me to actually try to sound like Troy Baker? No, I just want you to read the f***ing tweet, David. Okay, I did. Thank you all for your consideration. <laughs> and patience. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm <clears throat> gonna, read, I, I can I'm read it again. Kill this man. No, I think I think we can move on. I think, uh, I think so anyway, he came up he came up with this after you know, literally his entire fan base going, "Don't be a dick." Don't do it. Don't. Yeah, it's a bad idea. Don't. Though with him leaving the NFT market, another company is getting in, but in a new, different way apparently, and that is Team Seventeen. Everyone knows Team Seventeen. They make worms and produce a bunch of tiny, fun indie games like the Northern Irish. Designed and developed, Schrodinger's cat. Go check it out. I met the guy who made it once. He was lovely. Uh, yeah, they're getting into environmentally friendly worms NFTs, which what? It, you know, script <laughs> NFTs I, I are monkey face. They can be worms. <laughs> yeah. So um, the NFT that uh, we have seen so far um, is basically one of those 3d render models um and it's uh randomly generated assets that just kind of go together and make a unique worm um so the reason why they're saying it's environmentally friendly um nfts are minted uh through the ethereum uh mainnet so what they're going to be doing is using a side chain which will use a lot less power when they mint um each of these nfts so in theory it's better for the environment, but that's still up to each person to decide yeah. whether it's better or not. It's no, it's like saying it's better for the environment. So it's like, hey, instead of burning down this tree, I'm just gonna crack open this battery and pour it here. It's still two I, different ways of messing up the environment. No. Just it's a different kind of hole you're making. 
it, it reminds me of the analogy of like, um, oh, you know, this is better for the environment. However, it requires horrendous strip mining to get the materials to produce it. Ah, uh, like early solar panels. Yes, exactly like early solar panels. Okay, you know what? Like, look at that. Like, we're, we're, this sounds really depressing. Let's talk about something light, lovely, and you know, wholesome. Like Mortal Kombat uh, 2. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you haven't seen Mortal Kombat, you have you? No. Mortal Kombat is one of those movies that came out and it's like, you have no right being this good. You don't have any no, right wasn't like being Mario this Bros. badass. You don't have any right being, you know, <laughs> actually this funny. Seriously, the guy that got to play Kano was just angry and Australian the entire way through. I love him. Oh, brilliant. Uh, like, you know, they had the actual fight moves. They have fatalities. Oh, the fatalities. Oh, they're gross but amazing. Like, literally they have a, <laughs> was it Kano stabbing lizard, through reptile, through the chest, pulling out his heart and goes, Ha ha, Kano wins. Ah, oh, what a beauty. And then tossing it away. It's violent, oh it's fun. And also, you know, I got to see Scorpion and Sub-Zero fight in the modern age. And... Oh. Well, all we know about it so far, uh, we're getting to so Mortal Kombat 2, um, there is a uh, writer... So it's kind of greenlit. They got a writer attached for the script, and it's going to be Jeremy Slater. The scripting is his. Uh, yeah, he's he's done a few uh, fun projects. He uh, has done Moon Knight, the new Marvel uh, show, which I can't wait for because I love the comic character. Uh, Oscar Isaac deserves to play at least one good com- comic book character because oh my god, X Men Apocalypse! <laughs> I'm so sorry, you per man. You deserve way better than that. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. Also, Ethan Hawke's the bad guy. He's always fun uh he also adapted uh or helped he also developed uh, the umbrella academy for netflix that was a fun show and uh the exorcist for fox and i watched like two episodes of that i remember being kind of creepy um so yeah he's okay. writing mortal kombat 2 that is fun yay i like mortal kombat i'm happy yeah. looking at a sequel um, yeah that sounds interesting that's definitely gonna have to keep an eye out on that it was like the last good it's like i would call it a good video game movie without having to ooh and ah around mm. it you know then there's the next video game movie coming out, which I've got a feeling, at best, is going to be some dumb fun. At worst, it's going to be terrible. And that is okay. Uncharted coming out in the US on um, February 18th. Yeah. Look, I've I already Tom- said my piece on last episode. I, look, I like Tom Holland. I, I genuinely do. He's he, he seems lovely. He's a great wee Spider-Man. He's been other things I've, I've enjoyed. He does look like nathan drake a young nathan Does drake he? especially from the, Does they, they, he? yeah they do young nathan drake a few times in the games and he kind of looks like him mm. but uh, mark Wahlberg, mark Wahlberg is the ultimate hit and miss actor occasionally hey the departed great great sporting actor in that transformers there we go you know uh but the only <laughs> thing i'm genuinely genuinely looking forward to about that movie do you know he's playing the bad guy Who's that? Antonio Banderas. I do not care. He is always fun. <gasps> yes. He is always camp. He's always ha ha. Banderas. So um, yeah. So this we're going to wrap up uh, some game releases before we do the question week. So we're getting Dinobomb Life is Strange Remastered Collection, which is apparently coming out for everything. Um, mm. The sealed um, pull webbed. Uh, Sherlock Holmes Crime and Punishment is coming to the Switch. That's a Frogwares game. A couple of games back. That's before the Sinking City and before uh, Sherlock Holmes and the Devil's Daughter. I need to remember it. Uh, a game I completely forgot existed. Dying Light Two is coming out February fourth because everyone forgot Dying Light Two existed. I genuinely thought it was never <laughs> going to release. And well, uh, here it is, surprise. And Sifu, which and uh, honestly it looks looks like really cool. It's the uh, game where it has the DNA of. Hong Kong, Hong Kong, Kong action movie, really great for saying a lot of H's when you have a mild stutter. Uh, where the game mechanic is, when you die, you get resurrected with slightly more skill, but you are older, and you will eventually die of old age if you keep dying in game. Which looks cool. It, like the game looks really, really, really cool. Fluid. And the combat mechanics look like ah, oh, I get just thrown in and be fun. So last week I asked. What uh, was your favorite boss you've ever fought? This time, V has the question. V? Yeah, so 
Since we talked way too much about cryptocurrency, uh, what would your cryptocurrency slash blockchain be called? Bulls hit. Bulls hit? Say it quickly. Ah. There we it. go. Uh, yes, it'd be that. <laughs> and um, the image for it, because all, all of these cryptocurrencies have, you know, funky little logos and images. It will be mm-hmm. a stylized version of a bull's arse. Oh, I thought you were going to go with the uh, poop emoji. No, that's right. I'm pretty sure that is already taken by it. That might that by itself might be a cryptocurrency at this point in time. We don't know. You know what? Yeah, I'm not googling it. I don't. Ne- I don't need that in my um, analytics. Yeah, no one needs that. What would yours be called? No. Uh, well, I would probably because I enjoy um, the running gag of me being a cactus. Um, I would probably name mine pricks. It's terrible. I mean, if I want to go with my one, I mean, <laughs> if, if we want to go with a running, th- a running thing on my screen name, it would be This Isn't My Money. Ooh, Ooh there you go. Thank you. Ah, get, keep it oh, on brand. Oh, you can call maybe. it Coats. If you want to be unimaginative, call them Coats. Once again, that's probably taken. Yeah, yeah. So on uh, on my Twitch, um, I have that uh, the viewer thing that people can earn points. And those are called prickles, uh, because I did actually want to name it pricks. However, I figured that was a bad idea, so that's now the cutesy prickles. You just wanted a little prick in your pocket, didn't you? Yo! Uh, uh, I'll, I can reach to my left and have a handful of pricks. I mean, depending what bar you go to, that could really happen. <laughs> Yay! Back on to horrible, horrible, horrible jokes. Uh, <laughs> Okay then, follow up question. And uh, what would what would be your NFT? Mm, well, obviously it would have to be uh, randomizations of a potted cactus with different accessories. It would look like a world's shittiest pit crew that it has the randomize button enabled. Mine would be a pastel 3D pop image of uh, someone beating a dead horse. <laughs> Because NFTs are already that bad. <laughs> mm. Yeah. All right, so I've been David. This has been V. And I've, I've been V, unfortunately. Yeah, they really wanted to get a different name in, but the cryptocurrency got it first. See you all. <laughs> See you all next week. Cheery bye. Bye bye, everyone. Bye bye. Penis. Penis? What the f, David? <laughs>